what's up guys, Neat J here, welcome to my video. Today I want to show you how to create a custom shaped ocean wave simulation using X particles in Cinema 4D. Let's get started. Here, I modeled the lower part of the logo as a stone shape and the upper part as the container of the water wave. Let's add an XP system. Add a display tag to the upper part object. Use the lines mode. Select the XP emitter. In the object tab, change the emitter shape to object. Drag in the upper part object. In the emission tab, change the emission type to hexagonal. Uncheck emit all frames and set the emission to one frame. Check the animation. All the particles flew away. We need to make the objects as colliders for the particles. Add the XP collider tag to both objects. The particles are still flying away because the upper part object should collide with the particles inside. Select the collider tag and change the normals to inside. Play the animation. The particles are bouncing to the collider. Reduce the bounce to zero. Check the animation. Add an XP fluid FX modifier. Play the animation. The particles are still not that fluid. Select the XP emitter in the extended data tab. Decrease the viscosity and increase the vorticity. Change the surface tension to one. Yeah, it's more like a liquid. Add an XP gravity. Play the animation. The number of particles is too low since the hexagonal emission depends on the radius. The larger radius means there is less room for more particles. So let's change the radius to one centimeter. Now there's a lot more particles being emitted. We can see some particles flying away from the container. Add an XP kill modifier. Change the volume to objects and drag in the upper part of the object. This means that all particles outside the object will be killed. Play the animation. Now there are no particles outside the container. Add an XP wave modifier. Now we can see the wave swinging back and forth. Rotate it 90 degrees and resize it. Now the wave is swinging from side to side. That's what I wanted. Change the strength and scale of the wave and the brightness controls the height of the wave. More brightness means higher waves. Add some brightness and check the animation. I think the particle color makes it hard to see the dynamics. In the display tab of the XP emitter, change the display color to gradient and the gradient parameter to speed. Now the color is displayed according to the speed. The wave is too high. Decrease the brightness and check again. Add an XP foam modifier and click add emitter. Rename the emitters. In the foam emission tab, change the after age to 20 frames. That means emit foams after the 20th frame. Change the life to 200 frames. That means the max life of the particles is 200 frames. Change the min speed to 45. That will drive more crest rate particles created by the speed range. Decrease the min crest to have more range of crest rate particles. Change the mean impact to zero and max impact to one, which will drive full potential of creating trapped air particles. Okay, that's just a quick setting to start with. I don't want the foam down to the bottom. Create a new XP kill modifier for the foam emitter. Keep the foam kill modifier out of the water emitter and the water kill modifier out of the foam emitter. Change the size of the foam kill modifier box and place it right on top of the water, which will kill any foam below the box. Check the animation. Now the foam is too little. 
change the crest rate to 200 and the air rate to 400 to get a lot more foam. Play the animation. For this tutorial, I don't want to spend so much time tweaking these parameters. So let's just leave it for now and cache the simulation. Select the folder where you want to cache the data and click on build cache. Okay, the cache is done. Now we need to create the mesh for the fluid. Select the generators, create XP open VDB mesher. Drag in the water emitter, reduce the voxel size to get more detail and reduce the point radius. Select the upper part object and the VDB mesher and add the volume builder to it. Reduce the voxel size and change the mode of the top layer to intersect. Add a volume mesher. Reduce the voxel size again to get a more detailed shape. Check out some frames. That's good. Cache again. Click on continue to cache the VDB mesher additionally. Now let's deal with the foam shape. In the Octane Render Viewer, we can't see any foam because we need to make the foam emitter an octane object. Add the octane object tag to the foam emitter and enable geometry in the particle rendering tab. We can now see the foam geometry. Create a sphere, reduce the radius to a very small number and reduce the segments to make it less polygons. Drag the sphere into the particle rendering area so that the sphere becomes the geometry of the foam particles. The geometry is still too big. Reduce the radius again. Seems good. Just tweak all these parameters to have better results. Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. If it helps, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.